So we have a very simple web app where we can upload PNG files. In this video, we will try to upload a malicious backdoor to take full control over the server. This is the trickster CTF challenge of Pico CTF and the description says we can only upload PNG images. So first let's try to understand how the website works. Let's try to upload a PNG image. I'll click on browse, select my PNG image and click on open and click on upload file. I can see the file was uploaded and I also get a confirmation that it is a valid PNG file. So we do not know the directory where this file was uploaded. Let's see if we can find any information. I will right click and click on view page source. And from the source code, I do not get much information. Let's check the robots.txt file. So in my URL, I'll type forward slash robots.txt. And I can see these two paths are disallowed. So let's first check the instructions.txt. I'll copy the name and add it to my URL. And I can see in this text file, we have some instructions on what to do. Like this website allow users to upload PNG images only. It will look for the .png extension in the submitted file. And it will also check the magic bytes. The first few bytes must contain PNG and the hexadecimal value of PNG is this one. So if you did not understand what this line means, I have this PNG file called picture.png. If I get this picture, I can of course see the binary data. But if I scroll to the top, I can see the first few bytes of the picture says PNG. This is the magic byte. This is how the website is checking whether your file is a PNG or not. If it is not a PNG, you cannot upload the file. It will get blocked by the filter. I can check the hexadecimal value too. So if I type hex editor and the name of my file, I can see 50, 4e and 47 is the hexadecimal value of PNG. It also matches the value mentioned in the instructions.txt file. Now if I check the robots.txt file again, I can see the uploads path is also disallowed. So if I copy the name and add it to my URL, I can see we do not have enough permission to access this resource. So let's see other than accessing the directory, if we can directly access our file. So the name of my file is picture.png. I will type this in my URL, picture.png. And I can see I can directly access the file. Now since we can directly access the file, we will try to upload a backdoor, access our backdoor and remotely execute code. So I'll search for something like simple web shell. I'll click on the first GitHub link and I can see we have the code for the backdoor, which I'll copy in my terminal, create a file called backdoor.php, paste the code I copied. And since the first few bytes need to be PNG, I'll type PNG in the first line, save the file and quit the file. Now if I check the file with the hex editor, I can see the first few bytes matches PNG. So let's upload the file. I'll click on browse, select all files, select my backdoor.php and click on open and click on upload file. And we get an error message saying that the file name does not match .png. So I can rename the file and add .png and click on rename. Now I'll try to upload the file again. I'll select all files and select my file, click on open and click on upload file. And now I can see I could successfully upload the file. Let's try to access the file. So inside the uploads directory, the name of my file is backdoor.png.php. So I'll type this here. And now I can see inside this input field, we can remotely execute command. So if I type ls and click on execute, I can see it lists all the file inside this directory. So this is the backdoor I uploaded and this was the picture I uploaded. Let's try to find our flag. So I'll type find. I'll search for the whole file system and for the name, I'll search for flag.txt. So there does not seem to be a flag.txt. What if I try to search for all the txt files in the system? So find, I want to search for the whole file system and the name. I'll search for anything that ends in .txt. And I can see we have few files that have permission denied. We do not have to care for this. Let's try to access the file where we don't have the permission denied error. So if I scroll to the bottom of the page, I can see we have few files under the HTML directory. So we know what is inside this and this. We haven't checked this. So let's copy the path. And with the cat command, I'll paste the path and click on execute. And I can see we have the flag, which I'll copy, paste and click on submit. And we were correct. So we are going over the medium challenges of Pico CTF. If you want to follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.